Okay. Dear God, thank you so much for these kids and the, the good times that we've had with them. I pray that uh, you would really bless this time now. I pray that you would just uh, be with the kids, calm their nerves. I know they're nervous and they're excited to perform for mom and dad. And uh, thank you so much, Lord, for all that's occurred this year in this class. I pray that you would continue to bless these kids as they grow. Amen. And now our class would like to present their class play. This is the toy that put in the underbed. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together, but not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. <laughs> he had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. <laughs> As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him would fight each other all day. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. <sighs> One day, some men came to pick the biggest fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and pawing, leaping and jumping, so the men would think they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care, so he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice, cool grass in the shade, he sat down on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him, and that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Wow, did it hurt! Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around and snorting. <laughs> for the bullfights in Madrid. <laughs> so they took him away for the bullfight day. <laughs> what a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies had flowers. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the picador with a long, sharp pick with ribbons on it to stick into the bull and make him mad. Next came the toreador who rode a skinny horse to ride around the bull and make him even madder. Then came the matador, the proudest of them all. He was very handsome and bowed to all the ladies. <laughs> he had a beautiful cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull. And you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and the Picador was afraid of him, and the Toreador was afraid of him, and the Matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely. But not Ferdinand. 
When he got to the middle of the ring and saw all the flowers, he just sat down quietly and smelled. Ah. <laughs> he wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the picador was mad, and the torador was even madder, and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he is sitting there still, under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. <sighs> he is very happy. The end. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Tyler, Polk, and Taylor, Fillmore, Pierce, Buchanan, Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Arthur, Cleveland, Harrison, Cleveland, McKinley, Roosevelt, Taft, Wilson, Harding, Coolidge, Hoover, Roosevelt, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, then comes Bush. These are the U.S. presidents. <coughs> the secret. The secret. We have a secret. Just we three. The robin and I and the sweet cherry tree. Of course, the robin knows it best because she built the I shan't tell the rest and laid the little somethings in it. I'm afraid I shall tell it every minute. But if the tree and the robin don't peep, I'll try my best the secret to keep. Although when the little birds fly about, then the whole secret will be out. <laughs>
this is a jigsaw puzzle in the book. It's about is Mike Mulligan and Steve Shaw. What? Mike Mulligan. Mike Mulligan and the Big Steam Show. All right. Okay, Elijah. He has a treat for us today. And I made this at night time and I made a dragon with a tiger. And my mom made this. And I should because of one of this and I want to do it. Alright. We read lots of books about China this year. Alright, thanks a lot. And you actually know about China. Okay, Matthew. Um, Ooh. Uh, this is the little shark and that's two orange fish and that's a And see that big guy, a scary? Mm -hmm. It's a shark, but it doesn't eat people. It only eats little bits of fish and that's <laughs> And don't see that big crocodile. Let's not worry about playing crocodile. That's a Nile crocodile. No, the biggest crocodile. <laughs> All right, and if you put your hands up to your face when you look at that, you can really see in there, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, that's from the very first last time, which is about uh, a native uh, Eskimo tribe that the sea freezes over and the tide goes out and they dig a hole in the ice and they actually walk underneath the ocean. It's amazing. Sarah McGee. This is Anna in her new coat. And I sewed it with my mom with some help from her. Very little help from Mom, and those are real buttons and buttonholes, too. Okay, Christopher? Yeah. All right, we read lots of books about China, didn't we? Walk real careful with that one. <coughs> this is my rock to box in, and men, these are their little houses, and I put little rocks in there for their um, seats, and I built my, I, with a little help from my dad, I built a fire thing and churches right there, and all these houses, and this is a, and a, and a little of them can fly across. I didn't have enough room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so come back, Shrek. Sit up. I think Trevor wants to get a picture. <laughs> <laughs> and Tana Grace Estes. <laughs> Go ahead and let her hold this one so she can find it. I did Miss Rumpheus. Um, what? Because I couldn't find anything else to do. <laughs> 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 this is the cover. And this is from fish. She likes to plant lupines. She's kind of like Fernand the Bull, except she doesn't live in Spain. And she doesn't sniff flowers either. She only plants the people used to think. She was crazy, but not when the flowers bloomed. <laughs> <laughs> the world master at looking at masterpieces like this and coming up with categories of prizes. And we were up at what, midnight, one o'clock in the morning, looking at these saying, how can we do it? There is not one that's the neatest or the most original or the best use of materials. They were all absolutely incredible. We were blown away. And so everyone is actually receiving the same award today.
This says Certificate of Recognition presented by Five in a Row Awards Department. Awarded to David Keeler in honor of his absolutely amazing, utterly impressive, utterly magnificent, and truly impressive contribution to the 2002 Five in a Row Book Fair. His project reflects careful work, diligence, and creativity. Geography, History, Language, and Math. I am very proud of her. <laughs> this is that Kimberly Henry has completed one year of rigorous study in five in a row class. She has shown excellence in the areas of art, music, science, geography, history, language, and math. I am very proud of her. signifies that Sarah McGee has completed one year of rigorous study in five in a row class. She has shown excellence in the areas of art, music, science, geography, history, language, and math. I am very proud of her. <laughs> this diploma signifies that Rachel Keeler has completed one year of rigorous study in five in a row. She has shown excellence in the areas of art, music, science, geography, history, language, and math. I am very proud of her. signifies that David Keeler has completed one year of rigorous study in five in a row class. He has shown excellence in the areas of art, music, science, geography, history, language, and math. I am very proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> this diploma signifies that Andrew Bateman has completed one year of rigorous study in five in a row class. He has shown excellence in the areas of art, music, science, geography, history, language, and math. I am very proud of him. signifies that Christopher Bateman has completed one year of rigorous study in five in a row class. He has shown excellence in the areas of art, music, science, geography, history, language, and math. I am very proud of him. This diploma signifies that George